We have been working with well over 400 developers that are in our current beta program. And it's been really fascinating to watch these developers use the platform and build applications. It's enabled us to see the wide variety of enterprise applications for computer vision that are already in people's minds and already being built. So what are we seeing? So we're seeing people uh, leverage the platform to do interesting things like uh, track workers at a construction site. In other words, make sure that people on a large construction site are not going to dangerous areas or going to areas that they're not authorized to go to. We've seen a city look to build a computer vision application to be able to identify who's on their trails, how many bikes, how many runners, how many walkers, et cetera. And again, this is all about safety and all about providing the best service for, for their citizens. Uh, we've seen uh, trucking companies looking to build applications to uh, help assess the health of their drivers. Obvious applications like somebody looks like they might be falling asleep uh, or there's something going on in the cab of the truck that needs to be paid attention to. Smart city applications, uh, cities that want to understand how many people come into their, uh, into their streets, into their downtown areas uh, on the weekend or times of day, what stores do they go into and why? Uh, what are the demographics of the people visiting the city or leveraging city assets? And then one application of computer vision that we we all know about is is security cameras. And you know the interesting thing that we've seen here is we've seen a developer that is focused on security at companies, small to medium-sized businesses, actually at their facilities where they already had security cameras, but the cameras weren't really smart enough to understand the difference between, for example, a helium balloon uh, and a person. So the camera sees the balloon, thinks that there's a person inside the building when they shouldn't be, an alarm goes off, people are deployed, and it's a balloon, right? So that costs a lot of money, a lot of distraction. So with all these applications, of course, there are also the larger issues, as, as there always are in all major technology trends, around, okay, what are the implications of this new technology? And when we think about computer vision, we obviously think about privacy. And, you know, the industry is really gonna have to work hard to make sure that these new technologies are deployed with the full awareness and permission of people that are, that are impacted. And again, this is something the industry should get out in front of and make sure that there are clear guidelines about how and where uh, deep learning computer vision on edge devices particularly when we get into public environments like cities or city streets, how and where they are used and making sure there's full understanding from the people impacted that this, this service is provided for them. Sometimes people refer to it as the black box. These are the actual deep learning algorithms that are driving a lot of this intelligence. And it's a fair question to say, well, what are the weights and balances within the algorithm? How is that algorithm actually calculating the data that we are all using? And what is driving that, that behavior? Again, I would encourage the industry to come up with standard ways of providing insight into uh, those learners and allowing people to understand how they are actually weighted, what kind of biases are built in, uh, and, and providing that transparency as, as much as possible. Lastly, there's questions around security. A lot of people feel like edge devices are, are more secure than, for example, a cloud environment, which would have a lot more volume and therefore a lot more exposure if, uh, to, to getting hacked versus one camera on the edge that is not connected to the cloud but you know, providing some information that, uh, that is critical. So there's a lot of different uh, issues in computer vision, and we as a company are excited about participating uh, in the development of standards and the development approaches that we think will be really healthy for the overall industry as a whole. So thank you very much for uh, listening to our thoughts about, uh, about this new environment and about this autonomous world that we're entering into and about computer vision in particular and about our platform and how that platform is being used to build and deploy a wide variety of fascinating and valuable enterprise applications.